get prepared because your mind loves familiarity. And when you try to do something different, it will try to stop you with all its power because it fears the unknown. The unknown is that void between where you are and where you want to go. You've never been there. And for the mind, that void, that space is not familiar. It's scared and it will try to protect you at all costs. And all of a sudden it happened. You don't know how. You don't know how you got yourself in this situation, but you got stuck. You fell into the trap of procrastination, self-doubt, fear of judgment, and all of the possible self-sabotaging behaviors. The result, you don't see a way out. You are stuck in a loop that causes you to feel frustrated with low self-esteem, or even worse, not feeling worthy. If that's the case, keep watching this video because I'll show you how to get out of the rabbit hole. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nadio. I'm a mindset coach and I help creators shift their identity so they can stop self-sabotaging and start living in alignment with more confidence and freedom. So you're looking for a way to get unstuck because apparently everything you do or don't do, and I'll get into that later on, is not helping you stepping out of your comfort zone. First, you have to understand that you put yourself in this situation. You can try to blame other people, your circumstances, your environment, only not to take responsibility for it. But the reality is that you did it, no one else. You need to know the truth, hard as it is, because I wish I had someone telling me the truth right in my face when it was time. And that's why you need to face the reality. You found yourself in this situation because of your thinking. You didn't just wake up one day and felt stuck. It was a repetitive pattern of thoughts that led you to feel stuck. Now, be careful to your exceptions. They might become your habits. This works the same in a positive or in a negative way. Probably you skipped the gym once or procrastinated at work or you ate just one bag of chips, whatever it was, but you broke a pattern. And instead of getting back up straight away, you allowed yourself to make an exception and break momentum. Now, what's supposed to be only an exception over a relatively short period of time became the norm. And now, here you are in low vibrations, hiding in your comfort zone, waiting for something magic to happen to get back on track. Now, if you're taking a break, that's fine. We all need breaks from time to time. But be careful, because sometimes we use that as an excuse to remain in our comfort zone. And those breaks become new habits that can last years. That's what happened to me. I became so lazy that I procrastinated on pretty much everything, only to find myself with no energy, very low frequency, and feeling depressed and frustrated. Because I knew exactly what to do, but I was not doing it. Even starting this YouTube channel, I knew I had a lot to share. I knew I could help someone who was in my same situation, but I kept procrastinating. And the more I did that, the more it was difficult to get back on track. First, because I became so familiar in my comfort zone, even if I didn't like it at all. Second, because the longer I waited, the more feelings like unworthiness, fear of judgment, self-doubt hit me. Until I became sick and tired of being sick and tired, that I knew I had to change something. And I'm so grateful I did that, because today I'm able to do what I love and this makes my heart full. So the first thing to get a stack is to break the pattern. And taking action is the best way to do that. Whatever the situation of stuckness you feel in, take the opposite action. Are you procrastinating on posting a video? Record and post that video. Are you afraid to text someone because you fear rejection? Text that person. Now, if you do that, get prepared because your mind loves familiarity. And when you try to do something different, it will try to stop you with all its power because it fears the unknown. The unknown is that void between where you are 
and where you want to go. You've never been there. And for the mind, that void, that space is not familiar. It's scared and it will try to protect you at all costs. It will find all the possible excuses to keep you stuck in your comfort zone. It's so good that not only will find all the possible excuses, but it will find all the best ones. It will try to convince you that after all, you are good where you are. That isn't that bad, but you have to be stronger than that. Because deep inside, you know that this will bring you gratification in the short term, but it will disappoint you and frustrate you in the long term. And if you keep yourself stuck in this loop for a prolonged period of time, you might even experience anxiety, stress and depression. But it's your responsibility to make a committed decision to break this negative pattern and start changing your situation. Even if it's a small step, start breaking the pattern. Your future self will thank you. Another way to get stuck is to set a goal for yourself. One of the reasons why you're stuck is because you don't have a goal. You wake up every day just to wait for the time to pass to go to sleep and start the day after to repeat the same process again. That's a very bad way of living. Einstein once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's what I did for a long period of time in my life. I didn't have goals. I mean, I had goals, but I was just talking about it. That means that I was just dreaming and hoping, but without action and discipline, I kept myself stuck. Now I'm excited to wake up in the morning and the days look so short, all because I made an irrevocable committed decision with myself. And I set clearly defined goals to achieve that get me so pumped that I stop all the self-sabotaging behaviors that I used to have. I remember when I was stuck and self-sabotaging. I was looking for more information, reading new books, watching more videos, trying to find the answer. I thought that successful people knew something I didn't know. They had to know the secret to be successful, something I didn't know. But what I realized in my journey is that you don't need more information. You just need to expand your awareness. Obviously, studying is necessary to learn new information, but most of the time, you already know how to do something. You already know how to get stuck, but you're so focused on your repetitive negative thoughts and behaviors that always brings you back into the same negative emotions. You really need to become more aware about the information you already have and start using them in your favor instead of against you. Remember, your mind loves familiarity. It prefers staying in a comfortable position, even if it's unhappy, sad, and unfulfilling, but at least it's predictable, rather than stepping into the unknown, because it's uncertain and it doesn't have control. But yeah, in the unknown is where the magic happens. You have to learn to master your thoughts and channel your energy in the direction of the life you want to live. But you are the only one that can make the choice. No one else can do that for you. People don't resist change. People resist being changed. And if you are ready to change, but you still don't know how or need some support, ask for help. Sadly, our society told us that asking for help is seen as a weakness because it's perceived as needy or something to be ashamed of. In reality, asking for help is a sign of strength, courage and power. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You are not alone. And if you think you are, know that there is and there will always be someone who was once in your situation. My self-sabotaging behaviors, that they were once my weaknesses, became my superpower because today I teach people how to stop that and how to achieve their goals faster. Because I've been there and I know the feelings, the frustration, the disappointment, and I experienced on my own skin what it takes to get out from that. It took me years to do that. So now I help other people do that in a shorter period of time because I designed a program that teaches exactly that. It's called the quantum shift. 
And if you find yourself self-sabotaging and feeling unfulfilled in your life, reach out to me and ask for help. I would be honored to help you because I know with absolute certainty that I can help you because I've been there before you. You are not alone. You're just one decision away from a completely different life. Ciao. Hey guys, my name is Nadio. I'm a mindset coach and my mission is to inspire dreamers like you to shift your identity so you can live your life in alignment with more confidence and freedom. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to watch more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. And if you have any question, feel free to comment in the box down below. For daily content, or if you wanna work personally, one-on-one -on -one with me, feel free to connect with me on Instagram at nadio08. Guys, thank you for watching and always remember that you are one decision away from a completely different life. See you in the next video.